All right, seventh graders, today is day number two of our dragster project. And like you see on our screen today, we're going to do research. So research, as you should know, kind of fits within kind of the inquiring and analyzing portion of our design process. And what uh, research allows us to do is gather background information. You know, if this is a dragster project, we know that a car is not a new invention. But we can always innovate and we can always make something better. And so we take the information that we know or the information that's already out there and we collect that and we learn from that so that when we design and create things and make things better, we have the information that's already there. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to research. So you're going to find some different sources. You're going to take notes on the aerodynamics. And then one of the things that we forget a lot as we research is thinking about how do I use the information now? And so we're going to ask you to reflect and think back, how am I going to use what I just learned about, re, uh, about aerodynamics? Okay, how am I going to apply the knowledge that I have from doing research? Okay, so that's our task for today. So at this point, we want to have our design notebooks open. If you don't currently have your design notebook open, pause the video and open it now. Our design notebook, now that we have our design notebooks open, as we scroll down here, we look today is day number two, and so our task is just to research. Okay, so you might be asking, well, what am I, exactly am I supposed to research? I already know what aerodynamics is. Or if you don't know, you're probably thinking, well, I don't know what this is, so I need to learn this. Okay, if we scroll down in our design notebook, we should, before I get to what you're going to research, you should make sure that you have a goal written down for today. So if you're collecting information, gathering information about uh, aerodynamics and about how that relates to dragsters or fast cars, what would a goal be? What do you want to accomplish or what do you want to learn today? So write that in there. Again, this would be a great time to pause that video, write your goal, set your goal for today for this class, and then unpause the video once you're done. Okay, now that we have our goal set, as I scroll down past the vocabulary, which should already be completed, it's always helpful to remind ourselves what our goal is. Our overall project goal is to make the fastest car possible, design and make the fastest car possible. So today, we're now in our design process chart under inquiring and analyzing here, and this is what we're going to fill out. This is the evidence of what we are learning, the background knowledge that we're gaining. Okay, so over here on the left-hand column, this tells us what we're going to do. So today, it's as simple as completing research on the topic of aerodynamics. Now, there's a lot with aerodynamics. Okay, there's a lot that we could learn. So a couple guiding questions to help us to kind of understand or kind of focus our attention. First of all, we need to understand what is aerodynamics. The second guiding question is what features make cars go fast. So if I think about of a race car or some sort of uh, dragster, really fast car, uh, what makes it go fast other than the size of the engine? Because you know we're not going to put engines in these cars. So what else uh, makes it go fast? And then what forces act on a car as it drives? And if we go back up to our vocabulary, one of the terms that you should have defined last class was that word force. So we should have knowledge now about what that word force means. And we should use that then now in our research, what forces are acting on a car? So as that car is driving along the road, what are some things that are acting it, acting on it, trying to get it to do different things, kind of pushing or pulling on that car? Okay. Uh, underneath here, we give you some video links. Okay. These are five different videos that you can watch uh, to complete this research. I'm going to go through kind of an example with you, but I'm not going to use those videos. I want you to go back to those videos yourself and watch those. So we've got the race school, man trucks, a Ferrari video, F1, Formula One race car design, and aerodynamics, the basics. And if you click on any of those, that will pop up with a YouTube link to that video where you can go and watch that. Okay, so let's do one here together. So we're going to complete this over here. Notice as you look at the right-hand column here, the evidence of our research, there are two kind of research, kind of, I don't know what you want to call this, but uh, two kind of portions that uh, two sources that are in blue so you need to everybody must have at least two research sources notice then that the third one is in orange so you should do that everybody should have at least three sources of information 
and the notes that go with them. And then we have website source number four and five that are in pink. And so you should aspire to do that. If you feel like, hey, I understand this, I can find some more sources, go back and find up to five sources. Set that as your goal to say, hey, I can do this. I can do some more research because the more information you have, the more that will help you in your design later on. So let's go back to website source number one. So you could click on any of these videos over here on the left. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Google and I'm just going to type in aerodynamics. If I type in aerodynamics, I get the definition up here. Um, if I scroll down, the first website that I come to is what is aerodynamics? This looks like it's interesting, like I might be able to find some information that helps me understand what aerodynamics is. So if I click on this, it's going to take me to a web page. Now this is NASA, and immediately I see this picture of an airplane over here. As I scroll down, you know, here's a, a wing for an airplane, but there's a car. So it looks like this information still applies, even though this comes from NASA and it comes from, you know, a, a, an organization that has to do with space travel, it still applies to the information that we want uh, dealing with cars as well. So if I look at this, well, the first sentence that comes to mind right here, or that I notice, is aerodynamics is the way air moves around things. So I'm going to go back immediately here. And I noticed that, and so I'm going to type in, I'm just going to hit enter and then tab to kind of change the bullet point. And I'm just going to say, uh, how air travels around things. That's what aerodynamics is. Okay? Before I get too far in this, I want to make sure I have my source. So if I go back up here, this comes from the NASA website. I can take this website right here. Control C copies it. I go back here to website, website source number one, control V. There is my website. I've got that in there. Now, if I have to take a break and I maybe that close that tab accidentally, I can easily go back to that website. Okay, it's an easy way to go back to that. Plus, we want to always give credit to where we're getting information. Let's go back to our website here. Uh, it talks about, you know, forces as I scroll through and just kind of read through this thing really quickly. Here it mentions the word cars. I notice the word cars. Aerodynamics even acts on cars since air flows around cars. That's good. That's interesting. Okay, it did talk about a rocket and an airplane, but I'm more interested in cars. So let's see what else it has to say. If I scroll down, what are the four forces of flight? And this looks like this, or this paragraph right here actually relates to this right there. So one of those questions about what forces act on an object or what forces act on a car, this would be the same as an airplane. So it looks like thrust is moving forward, drag is a force moving back, weight is pulling something down, and lift is pulling it up. So I'm going to go back here now and another note that I just learned is that thrust, drag, lift and what was the other weight are forces that act on an object. And I'm going to say moving object because we're talking about airplanes or cars uh, in this case of our project. So on an on a moving if I spell correctly, moving object. Okay, so there's another note for me. Okay. Let's see what else I can learn from this. I go back to our website. What is weight? Okay, there it kind of tells me what weight is. I don't really want to know that right now. Um, this is lift. You know, I, a car stays on the ground, so I'm not as concerned with, you know, if flying, if your car starts flying, that's probably a, probably a problem. Sounds kind of dangerous to me. Um, how do airplanes wings? I'm not really interested on airplanes. Drag is a force that tries to slow something down, makes it hard for an object to move. It's harder to run or walk through water than air. This is because water causes more drag than air. The shape of an object also changes the amount of drag. Most round surfaces have less drag than flat ones. Narrow surfaces usually have less drag than wide ones. The more air that hits a surface, the more drag it makes. Now this is interesting in terms of a car. The more air that hits a surface, the more drag it makes. That's something that I think I need to know. So the more air that hits a surface, the more drag it makes. Okay? And then I also...
also in that paragraph, going back, saw where it says the shape of an object changes the drag. So round surfaces have less drag, and narrow surfaces have less drag. So that's interesting for me because that could help me when I design my car. So round and narrow surfaces have less drag because we know that a drag is that drag is what slows a vehicle down. So I want to have less drag because I don't want it to slow down. I want it to go fast. So I'm going to make it rounded and I'm going to make it narrow. Okay. Let's go back here quickly. What is thrust? Okay, so that's what I'm going to take away from this right now. Now, if you're doing research and you're spending some more time on this, you might dig into this a little bit deeper. There's some uh, links over here that I might be able to use. What is aerodynamics? I could click on that link. There might be some other topics up here that might help you. Okay, but that's what I take from this particular website. So I'm going to go back to my design notebook now. And the last thing I need to do let me just kind of change the notes to a different color so they kind of stand out. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to do that just because it helps me visually. I need to answer this question right here. Once again, it's in blue, so you must do this. How will I use this information? Okay. Research is about gathering that information, but then we have to know how to apply it. Okay. So what am I going to take? When I design my car, what am I going to take away from that information? Well, if I look at this, I just said this last one right here, that round, narrow surfaces have less drag. So I'm going to say I will make my car rounded and as narrow as I can. Okay, there's one thing that I'm going to take away. I'm going to, I want to reduce the drag on my car. Okay, that would be another takeaway that I want to cut down the drag as much as possible because that's a force. Okay, I want to make air flow smoothly around my car. Okay, so those are the, my takeaways. That's what you need to do for research. Now, if you decide, hey, I want to pause this video and copy this down, great. Pause the video, go to this NASA website and copy this information down. That's one of your sources. Everybody else now or everybody then needs to come up with one more source. That could be one of these videos that you watch a video, you watch it, pause it, uh, take down some notes, start it again, take down some notes, and then ultimately tell, you, tell us and tell yourself, how am I going to use this information when I design my car? Everybody should do a third source. So pick another one of these videos or go to Google and just Google aerodynamics and find another source. But that's what you're going to do today. All right, so you are going to complete your research somewhere between two and five different sources, and you're going to learn what aerodynamics is and how that might affect your car. If you have questions, make sure that you ask your teacher. Reach out to us via email or text. Let us know what your questions are, and we will help you. The last thing that you should do once you're done with all your research is scroll all the way down to the bottom. I know this is a big design notebook. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom and find day number two and write a summary. What are three things that you accomplished today? Three things that you learned. Hopefully by doing research, you learn new information that you could add to your daily summary. All right, so get your research done and we will see you in class next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.